Good morning, everyone. Welcome to July 16th Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we got the Dow futures down 36, S&P futures are down 3, and NASDAQ futures are down 5. Both Asian and European shares were mixed overnight. Friday morning futures were in decent shape as the bulls looked to kill a six-day losing streak. J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo reported earnings with PPI and consumer sentiment numbers apparently satisfying investors as stocks took off right out of the chute. By the time the market closed, all of the major indexes had risen sharply and setting the stage for further gains. Today we'll get retail sales at 8.30 a.m. with the market expecting a reading of 0.2%. Then we'll get Empire Manufacturing with the market looking for a reading of 3.8. We'll get earnings reports today from Citigroup and United Continental Holdings. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day moving average at 1343, the 50-day at 1333, and the 200-day at 1307. The S&P closed at 1356 with support at 1343 and resistance at 1374. I've been talking lately about how some things beneath the surface were indicating a rally was near, and that's exactly what we got on Friday. In fact, we saw that the bulls were able to at least hold the line of the 50-day moving average, and that's all it took for the market to kick into high gear. Now the bulls will be looking to revisit the most recent high of 1374 on the S&P, knowing if they can clear that level, then 1391 could be next. There's certainly no guarantees here, but with the earnings getting ready to kick into high gear, the market could be ripe for some additional points. Success in the market is all about identifying those candidates that present the best reward to risk opportunity. In other words, focus on those trading candidates that present at least a two to one reward to risk opportunity to give yourself the edge. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another Market Minute.